Okay, well, hello everyone. We're going to talk about uh, using Hashgraph and putting it onto Discord for a Discord Play. Uh, sorry, not Play. Discord Pay app. And um, here's our little logo. It's inspired by the PayPal app and the Hashgraph app. So you can tell right away what it's doing. Basically, we're trying to solve the problem of Discord users being able to spend send money really easily and in a quite decentralized all right, well, I've just gone ahead and cleaned up the database and we're gonna go ahead and just see how easy it is to use. Now I can go ahead and first take a look at just what is in my account. Right now, I haven't used it at all and uh, it's the first time using this, um, uh, this bot and it has given me 10 H bars. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to send some money over to let's say I don't know just the other user on this discord my other developer and here we go we're sending one H bar and right away we're seeing some incentives happen now these incentives are there to uh, hopefully engage the user more as they use this system and it's really what we've noticed is uh, the discord users really love these kind of engagements not necessarily it's not necessarily always about the money they want to see some fun so here we've done this rickroll thing now i'm just gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like in the account right now i have one rickroll on the side over there it's moving around it's awesome and one of the things actually that people don't know is um, these animated uh sort of emojis yes <laughs> they looked awesome and you want to be able to use them but actually discord does not allow you to do that and it doesn't allow you to do a lot of other things for example if i wanted to go ahead and delete someone else's um, message i can do that right now because i'm the administrator but if i'm just a normal user i can't do that and i also can't mute other people if i really find them annoying so these are kind of the incentives that we're giving to our people when we give them tokens. Uh, we're using the fungible tokens on Hashgraph and let's see how that works. So here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and rickroll myself. And this is what happens. If I now say anything to the chat, well, the bot goes ahead and ricks rolls me every single time I say it. And it'll go on for about, uh, I think we've set it up to eight seconds and now finally, I'm free. Great. All right, well, let's take a look at what happens uh, when I continue to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and send more, um, just more H bars to Jace. And here we go. Now we're gonna be promoted to this Hedra Pro and I'm now able to do muting. This is another feature that uh, a lot of folks would like to be able to have um, in their Discord servers. And often they're just participants of the Discord server, so they don't have administrative powers. And if you find someone just really annoying, well, you can go ahead and mute them for five seconds here. So here we go, let's try to mute. I'm gonna, again, just mute myself so I can show you how that works. And here we go, muting. And you'll notice that every time I type something, the bot goes and just <laughs> deletes my post right away until later on finally after a couple seconds i'm able to finally speak again here we go so to take a look at what the account looks like now i have spent out my two h bars and i have spent out my rickroll as well as my mutes so again i'm using those h bars i'm using those um tokens as well all right, for the final cherry on the top, let's take a look at what happens when the users really go hams and use our system to the max. You know, that's doing all the, all sorts of those good transactions. So I'm gonna send the rest of my money, which is the H, H bars to Jace. There we go. And let's take a look. What I get is the ultimatum. Yeah, hail Hedera. Sounds like hail Hydra to me. Sorry, just a... Uh, you know marvel fan here anyways now we get to type nuke and let's take a look at what nuke does oh hold on let me just show off again what c is doing and again here you see i have the one nuke over there 
And I'm just gonna take a peek at what Jace has as well on the other side to just show you what's going on. Now, you'll notice that I had 10 H bars to start with, but Jace is missing actually 0.5 of that H bar. And that's because 5% of that goes towards fees. We've noticed that, you know, if we wanted to be able to give these incentives, which we've um, worked together, uh, we've worked on for, we've, sorry, accomplished this using activity points. Well, when you do those transactions, activity points kind of just add up. And if we don't have any other mechanisms to stop people from just spamming that, well, it won't be very interesting anymore to just be nuking each other all the time, right? So anyways, here we go. Let's take a look at what nuke does. And really, we hope that some interactions like this can go across servers, making use of that decentralization and that uh, really secure nature of uh, brought to us by blockchain to be able to have other people develop their own bots using the same framework and have people doing i don't know server wars that would be fun all right here we go nuke three two one and that's the ultimatum you get to delete an entire channel well that's it everyone that's our discord pay we hope you enjoyed it